Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and run my mouth for a quick second and talk about some people. If this video makes it up today, um, I just want to give you guys a reminder that um, we will be going live tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be there or be square. Um, I really don't have my intent. Well, I say that every time. But my intentions are not to be on for very long because I have, uh, I want to go out uh, for dinner afterwards. So I'm hoping I can get everything done between, you know, 60 to 90 minutes and then, you know, we'll be good. All right. So just if you want to just, you know, come over tonight. We're going to be live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. That is September the 23rd, 2000. 22 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, y'all. <laughs> Let's get into some mess. <laughs> okay, so listen. <clears throat> I don't be watching. Yeah, okay, let me. You know, I feel like I gotta give this disclaimer every time we talk about the um, the other housewives. Y'all know I just got into the housewives. Um, um, the White House wives just like a few seasons ago. I've always known who the girls were. You know, I would pop my, he my head in and out, you know what I'm saying, throughout the seasons. But I've never really just sat down and watched the full season. I could never tell you what the storylines were. I just always kind of knew what girl was in what city. I started watching season, uh, I started watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills when I'm a girl, when they brought the black girl on Garcelle. That's just what it is. Um, so I started watching season 10 when Garcelle um, became a part of the cast. Um, <laughs> and, you know, from what I've seen, I'm a, you know, I've said this, that, you know, my faves were Sutton, <laughs> Lisa Renner. Low key cow. Erica Jane was my fa I used to go up for Erica Jane until I found out that she might be over there stealing from them people. I don't know, girl. That's what they say. I don't know. Um, so I had to stop following Erica because I really was at one point like, girl, I don't know what you're doing over there with that old white man, but girl, I don't want no parts of it. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm starting to see how kind of how Lisa Renna does kind of move. Lisa Renna, it, it gives me like tick, 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 boom at any moment. <clears throat> so some of the things that people have been saying, I'm starting to see about, girl, my hands are ashy. I'm starting to see that, you know, oh, girl, they, you know, y'all are probably right about certain characters on these shows. So Lisa Renna, <laughs> and I, I can't, I can't say for sure whether she deserve it or whether she don't. <laughs> Lisa, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Lisa Renna, um, still will not make more than Candy Burris if she made $2 million. So this is basically what it comes down to, girl. Lisa Renna wants $2 million, allegedly, um, to basically return to the new season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, this is what I got to say. I... Take into account everything I said. So I really can't just sit here and say what Lisa Renna is worth. What I've seen from Lisa Renna the last few seasons that I have watched, I could have wrapped my head around her asking for that $2 million payday if she really fulfilled her role as the villain by going after Erica Jane. <laughs> if she would have did that and maybe shook the table, then maybe I would have been like, okay, girl, mama is really doing her job. I can see how she probably would want that two, that two million. But girl, you didn't even get the ball rolling on that. Quiet as this kept Garcelle did. And then girl Sutton took the baton. You see what I'm saying? So like, you dropped the ball in your job duties. So why, how, can you, how can you be mediocre at your job one season and then come back and say, girl, I need a $2 million payday? It's giving, it's giving very, very much NeNe leaks. 
because I did so great in past seasons that 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 means that girl based off the based off seasons one through girl whatever I did great but girl then seasons eight through whatever I dropped the ball but girl, I still want two million dollars no girl at least with Candy Burris and then on top of that with Lisa too with Lisa. <laughs> Lisa doesn't give the whole shebang. Like, Lisa, I've seen your husband, right? We love Harry. You know, Harry looks sexy to me. We love Harry. I know she, I remember, I think that was season 10, where she talked about her, her daughter's eating disorder. But girl, that's not enough. At least with Candy, if Candy is the highest paid. Girl, Candy, we've had moments... We know with Mama Joyce, with Common, with Don Juan, with them aunties, like, at least with Candy Girl, we're getting like, I can just, I can see why that if Candy is the highest paid, I can see why. Because girl, Candy bringing her whole family on and getting the mess started. We, we've seen, we've seen seasons past. Of Real Housewives of Atlanta, I'm not saying that Bravo is paying them, that paying like Don Juan them. But what I'm saying is, girl, I could see why they would give Candy a two million dollar payday because look what she brings to the table, right? And then on top of that, girl, Candy has brought in money for Bravo series after uh, special after special after special after special after special. You know what I'm saying? Girl, Lisa, what, Lisa, girl, Lisa, what have you? That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all asking for these high dollar paydays. But, girl, to, in my honest opinion, girl, y'all not really bringing nothing to the table. Not for no $2 million? Lisa, you ain't did. Lisa, what have you done this season? And for what I, I, I'm starting to see, it is kind of like a, you kind of like a one trick pony. I really think that if, if, I get that it was a, I get that what Erica Jane is going through is past some reality TV mess, right? It's one thing for the girls to get on a, get on a reality TV and conjure up some mess, you know, just to, you know, create a reality TV show. I get that what Erica Jane is going through is not some reality TV mess that's real life. With that being said, Grace also her reality. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't pick and choose when you want to be the villain and when you want to be the good guy. Girl, either you gonna, either you going either you going see it all the way through or either you not. And I think that, I think in a, in a part of me, while understanding that Erica was going through a lot of stuff, a part of me feels like Lisa still should have went after Erica a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. I know that's supposed to be her friend. But girl, she went after uh, Denise. Girl, she went after Sutton. She introduced Sutton to us. And she still, and she, st and she can't stand the ground, Sutton walk on. She went after uh, Denise because, girl, Denise supposedly was over there eating coochie on the weekend. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> y'all think Lisa deserves a $2 million payday? I don't think they have to do. Based off what I've seen, I don't think she does. I don't think she does. I don't think she does. Um, girl. <sighs> so the baby. Social media, social media reacts to the baby claiming he had sexual intercourse with Meg, Megan the Stallion in new single. Um, of course, I'm not going to play the song, but he says, you play with me. You play with that ish. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, you play with me. That ish was childish. The day before she said that Tory Lane shot her. I was effing on Meg the Stallion. Uh, waited to see that ish. On my next album. I don't know. I mean. Girl, I don't know. that. To me that's not him necessarily saying that he. 
had sexual intercourse unless he said it's unless he said it somewhere else in the song and, they, and they're just not putting the lyrics i didn't go listen to the song i'm not listening to the song the clip i heard was on the um was on the uh was on the uh was on the on the blogs this is what I got to say, regardless of what he said, regardless if he said it or if he trying to insinuate that he had sexual intercourse with Magnus Stallion. I just think that it is so wiggity, 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 whack. That girl, the baby, you pretty much got two feet out of the industry. <laughs> and girl, you trying, girl, you pulling stunts and shows. And girl, you trying to come up with anything to get your name in the headlines. You went from, girl, being on top of the world to, girl, people really not fooling with you to, girl, you can't even sell out your own concert, right? Girl, they, the concert was so bad, the tickets were not selling, they just had to just pull it. Because it's like, girl, we can't even have no concert because ain't nobody even coming to see you. So now your next stunt in show is to sit here and say or to insinuate that you was effing on Meg the Stallion. Like, it's so tired, late in the room. It's really, it's really like just dusty on top of dusty on top of dusty on top of dusty niggas. It's whack. And there's no other way you can put it. Can't nobody get in my comment section and tell me that, that what, what, what the baby doing is not whack. Everybody knows, in my favorite Parks voice, everybody knows, that girl, you got about two feet out the industry, honey. Girl, you trying to claw your way back in, and the only way that's the only way you can make the blog to get some attention is by mentioning Meg the Stallion name. Girl, are you serious? Vivica A. Fox addresses rumors that Fifty Cent had penis enhancement surgery. He didn't have to get no enhancement. He's good. You know what? I like Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox recently addressed rumors that ex boyfriend 50 Cent had penis enhancement surgery during this week's episode of Cocktails with Queens. During the show, Fox had no problem calling out the med spa owner, um, Angela Kogan, for lying on Fifth. Angela, you lying. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. If it's one thing I know, that's true. He didn't have to get no enhancement. He's good. I can hear her saying it now. She said, listen, the one time I'm with him on the, wait, listen, the one time I'm with him on that one, I'm with him. When he's right on that one, no, it's all good. You know why, you, uh, according to Fox 50, 50 Cent, who's 47, didn't require any assistance regarding his <laughs> neither, neither regions during the 2003 um, relationship. This is what I have to say, relationship. This is what I have to say. Even if that is true about 50 Cent, girl, I guess, girl, not needing any <laughs> assistance, uh, downstairs. The way that 50 Cent's dogged out Vivica, Vivica Fox, and I get that they came to, you know, to apologize and make up. But didn't he, even after they made up, didn't he still go back after her? I could have swore he did, but I can't remember. But even if they did, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It just gives me real thirsty. I hate to use that word, but it gives me real thirsty. Like, couldn't no man dog me out the way that 50 Cent dogged out Vivica Fox? And then, girl, even if we did make up, I come back and be like, girl... Girl, I don't care what she said. Girl, I already know because I was there. Girl, no, I'll just be sitting there like, well, girl, I mean, what do you have to say, uh, Vivica? What do you have to say, Rodney? Didn't you have, weren't y'all dating? Yeah, we dated, but girl, I'm not even talking about that right now, child. Girl, I wouldn't give him nothing. Vivica, gonna, when I say one thing about it, two things for sure, Vivica going to always be thirsty for 50 cents. And we like Vivica, honey. But I want her to let it go. Let it go! Let it go! God want her to let it go. <laughs> You're in my Elsa voice. <laughs> okay? Ooh, child. Didi, <laughs> Didi, Didi G shares he didn't realize how racist America still is until witnessing the hate 
His girlfriend, Haley Bailey, has received for being the first black woman to star as the Little Mermaid. I thought Martin Luther King, I thought Martin, <laughs> I can't even get it out. I thought Martin Luther King Jr. canceled that ish out. So despite the hate she's had to face for her latest role as Ariel in the upcoming Little Mermaid film, it is very evident that Haley Bailey has a strong support system in her corner. <laughs> rapper DDG, and then, and then Jasmine Brand, she goes on to say rapper DDG. That's a strong support. Okay, you know, let me shut up. That is a strong support system, just because he don't know. Okay, let, let, let me go. Let me shut up. Rapper DDG, real name, Daryl Dwayne Granberry Jr., is the latest person to speak out in support of Haley Bailey 22 amid the ongoing backlash she's been receiving from the racist internet trolls. Um, as you may already know, um, by earlier this month, DDG's girlfriend, Haley Bailey, set the internet on fire after the first trailer for her upcoming project, The Little Mermaid, was released. Even though the actress has gotten an overwhelming amount of love from fans and supporters, she still deals with the harsh uh, comments from racist trolls who believe a black woman shouldn't play the part of a fictional mermaid character. I'm glad they put fictional mermaid character. During a recent interview, DDG24 was asked how Haley Bailey was dealing with the negative critics, he answered, she be laughing it off, but they be going a little too hard. But I feel like the people is more attacking the character rather than her personally. After, no, they're attacking her DDG. After the inter interview, host DJ Bootleg Kev said, every once in a while we get reminded just how terribly racist America is. DDG admitted, yeah, I didn't know people was this racist. I didn't know this was a thing. I thought this ish was gone already. I thought that ish was gone. I thought Martin Luther King Jr. canceled that ish out. This ish is crazy. I was like, what the F is these niggas talking about? He then said, even the haters are going to tune in and watch the film regardless of their bigoted mindsets. He added, it's going to be number one. Girl, so I'm still learning. I'm not some historian. But for this grown ass man, and I looked up his age, because I was like, well, maybe he, I don't know, girl, I was trying to make excuses for him being this ignorant. Girl, I think that we that we're all ignorant in certain areas, certain things, right? But girl, for this man, he's about to turn twenty five on October the tenth. That's what that's what the Google said. The Google said that that he's twenty four. He's about to turn twenty five on October the tenth. For this twenty five year old man, soon to be twenty five year old man, to get online and say that he didn't know that the world was still racist and he thought that Martin Luther King counseled it out. Sweetie, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? I don't know. I don't know nothing about this boy, this man. I don't know if he grew up in a well-to-do family. I don't grow. I don't know if he grew up in a white, a whitewashed family and was shielded from the world. Um, I don't know, you know, because sometimes depending on your upbringing, depending on who you know your parents are, they may shield you from a lot of stuff, and you may just not know, right? And it kind of low-key falls on your parents. I mean, at some age, at some point, Greg falls on you because you're a grown man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, well, girl, maybe he grew up. At first, this is what I was telling myself when I saw this story. I said, well, maybe he grew up in a shielded family. 
you know, a whitewashed family. <laughs> Girl, they kept him from the, 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 the realities of the world, right? And then I was like, you know, I don't think he's too old. I don't know why I be thinking. I still be forgetting. I, I be thinking that I do that sometimes, too. I still think that Haley is like some, like, teenage girl forgetting that, you know, she's technically a grown woman. She's 22. She's grown. Um, but forgetting that she's grown. So I was thinking, girl, what? Well, they're just children. Because I'm thinking 17, 18. And I'm like, nah, baby. They said, the Google said this man is about to be 25. It's really no excuse for you to be that ignorant. I'm not saying that he should be an African-American historian. I'm not saying he should be able to go through and cite everything that's going on in the world. But girl, you, for you to get on down to the podcast and say that, girl, the only reason why you basically realize that racism is still alive and well is because something affects your girlfriend before that. What the fuck? You, where have you been, sir? <laughs> The last few years, not even the last few years, girl, it's been hell on wheels outside. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where DDG been. Sweetie, it's been hell on it's been hell on wheels outside. Girl, where I mean, that's why I'd be like, girl, what is he talking about? <laughs> girl, what, what is he talking about? It's, it's really no excuse. I'm sorry. I'm, that's the conclusion I've come to. At this point, I, I ran out of excuses. I tried to say he was a child. He not no child. I tried to say maybe he grew up sheltered. Girl, it don't matter. Girl, you're a 25-year-old man. Girl, I'm trying to figure out. Girl, there's no excuse. There's no excuse for you to be 25 and think that girl was going on in the world. Like, I don't know what be going on with these celebrities. I don't know if they are... I don't know. Again, I don't. This boy could have been, a, could have grown up rich with a rich family and just grew up privileged and all that good stuff. But girl, sometimes I think that celebrities are so far removed from reality that it's actually not even funny at some point. It's one thing for you not to know. Girl, how much gas costs? Because girl, you probably don't even feel your gas take up. You probably got an assistant. Or oh, girl, I don't know. I don't know, girl. It, you, it's one thing for you not to know how much bread costs or milk costs. Because girl, when's the last time, girl, you probably went to the grocery store? I don't know. There are some things I don't know. I, there are some things that I could see someone who probably lives a privileged a privileged lifestyle not knowing um, about. But girl, stuff like this, <laughs> girl. You say you thought the MLK basically ended racism? No, 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 no. <sighs> Honey, I don't know what, I don't know if you and Haley over there, girl, loving on each other and having girl sex all day and girl, y'all just, girl, I don't know, girl. Haley, 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 Haley. Girl, you are the company you keep. I'm going to go ahead and give Haley a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. Haley, girl, you got your, your man out here getting arrested. Girl, your man out here saying that, girl, he don't know. He thought that racism pretty much went out with MLK. Sweetie, <laughs> it's time to let him go. I know you young. I know you in love, but sweetie, this is girl. That's what I. That's what I be. That's what I be. That's what I be saying, girl. You all the man, girl. You all who you slate lay down with, girl. Hey, it's time to let it go. Because then I'm gonna start thinking you probably feel the same way. You thought that racism went out with MLK too. The kid, I mean, they in love, girl. I keep saying kids, but girl, like I said, that's, he closer to thirty than he is eighteen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, Timlin and Swiss Beats reach reach settlement with Thriller and twenty eight million dollar versus lawsuit. So Swiss Beats and Timlin have settled their lawsuit with social video platform Thriller. Is it Thriller or Thriller? I feel like it's Thriller. Because Thriller has an H in it. So this is Triller, right? Who they sued in August for uh, $28 million. 
asserting that the firm had neglected its contractual obligations to make payments throughout 2022, acquiring Versus from um, the pair uh, the year prior. Versus was founded by the two producers back in March 2020. I guess ain't nobody reading their contracts. Y'all got on Kalisa by not reading her contracts. Girl, it sound like, girl, ain't none of these no. Girl, Kanye ain't read his contract, honey. Um, it sounds like Timlin and Swiss ain't read sales. Girl, and y'all want to get on a teenage girl. Anyways, let me keep on going. Versus was founded by the two producers back in March 2020. was sold to Triller. I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like I'm not saying that right, but whatever, girl. In March 2021, per the court filing, the company reportedly made payments in January and April 2021, but they did not make the next required payment of $18 million in January 2022. According to Vulture, the payment agreement was then changed during which time Triller made another contribution in February before failing to hand over the remaining balance on a month-to-month -month basis. The matter, however, has been settled. An official uh, press release from Swiss and Timbaland revealed on Thursday versus has always been a platform that is by the artist, for the artist, and with the people. We're glad to come to an amicable agreement with Triller and continue to give. Girl, somebody, girl, my friend is, uh, I'm sorry. My uh, sister girl, he uh, sent me a message, and I see it on my, um, I see it on my um, iPod, iPod, my iPad. Um, girl, he asking me, girl, we talking about Beyonce in the, in the tour. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about Beyonce in the tour, girl. How much we spending on these tickets, girl? Girl, I, girl, I don't know, girl. I don't know. Cause girl, that bitch ain't getting all my money. I'm sorry, I love Beyonce, but I don't love Beyonce like that, girl. Some of y'all hoes is dumb and stupid, girl. Y'all hoes out there selling pussy for a Beyonce ticket. I ain't doing it, girl. Okay. Um, some of y'all out there work, go, girl. All y'all, girl, y'all out there making ten dollars an hour and trying to work overtime, girl. Start an OnlyFans page, girl. Sell stuff just to go see Beyonce. No, girl, I'm not making the rich richer. Okay. Um, but I do want to go see her, but girl. It's, 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 I'm not paying a whole bunch of money for no ticket, not to see, not to see nobody. That's just me. Um, so, girl, I'm, we, you know, let me get back to it. Um, we're glad to come to an amicable agreement with Thriller. Continue to get to the reason. Yeah, girl, whatever, child, girl. You know, at the end of the day, child, it is what it is. It's so cra it's crazy how like this started out as something when you know the world has shut down. And, you know, everybody, nobody had nothing to do. And it started out as something fun. And, you know, then they sold. Girl, it's just, I, girl, they, they got their money. Girl, I, I think, you know what I think is funny? When I see everybody in the comment section is like, yeah, 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 get your money, get your money. It's like, girl, you ain't got nothing. Girl, I think it's weird. I, I, I'm about to say something, and I, maybe I should keep this to myself. I do think it's a tad bit strange when I see so many people go up for, for like, these celebrities getting richer. Like, them getting richer, how, girl, I'm not saying you should, like, Rihanna being a billionaire, I was like, oh, she's a billionaire, like, I really didn't give a fuck, that's not, that's not, a, that's not, Rihanna being a billionaire ain't gonna do nothing for my life, Jay-Z being a billionaire, Kanye, Kim, they, they, they billionaires, okay, And I realized, like, girl, I don't need to take it. Congratulations for what? Because <laughs> if anything, child, girl, the reason why Versus got to be as big as it is is because, of course, the people. <laughs> then they got money hungry, sold it, got caught up in a bad business deal, had to then go to court. You see what I'm saying? Now they rich, and now we still over here. <laughs> girl, poor. <laughs> now they richer, okay? And we still over here poor. Let me shut up, girl. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. Mm. It's a win for black people. That's what the people going to say. All right, y'all. Let me get off of here. I'm about to watch... Um, I'm about to watch Beverly Hills real fast. Take some notes. And then, girl, I'll be back with the Beverly Hills um, review. All right, y'all. Bye.